Okay, I'm going to fix this door threshold today. I'm going to fix it instead of replacing it for a couple reasons. First of all, uh, there isn't anything special about the door. It's just an old door. A uh, 50-year-old door that uh, has no redeeming qualities. Uh, <clears throat> and if I were to replace this, it would be a lot of work and uh, I would still be left with an old inefficient door. So um, that's why I've decided just, just to fix what, I'm, what I have here. Uh, it's, if it comes to a point where it has to be replaced, uh, I'll replace the complete door uh, because then I'll end up with an energy efficient door. It'll do, uh, I'd be able to put the door in quicker than I would be able to put a, a threshold in. But if you notice, uh, for the most part, it's in pretty good condition, except for along the edges where the water has sat on it, and then, of course, over here where it's got that hole. So what I'm going to be using will be a sander to take off uh, the surface, just, just the surface of it. And then I'll be using this multi-tool uh, to get in along the edges, uh, places that the sander won't be able to get me to. What I want to do basically is just get just get the, the surface dirt off of it and uh, if there's any really bad wood at the surface, get as much of that off as I can. Alright, I've got it all sanded. I've got the bad wood taken out for the most part. And the next step is I have to harden this wood. What I'm using is Minwax Wood Hardener. It's a liquid that you simply put onto the wood and what it does is it hardens the wood, almost petrifies it, gets into the fibers of the wood and um, makes the wood harder than it was, harder than it was when it was uh, first put down. So anyhow, just follow the directions on the can, keep putting this on until it won't take any more and <clears throat> I'll take care of this hole and the other stuff later. I wanted to put this on before I did anything with the hole because I want to get this around the edges of the hole. So anyhow, uh, I just keep doing this until the surface becomes shiny and when the surface is shiny then I know that it's soaked in as much as it's going to soak in. So I'm going to let this sit for a couple minutes between coats. So let me shut the camera off and we'll come back to this in a while. All right, so it's been a while. Everything is dry now. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's nice and shiny. So the next thing I have to do is to fill in those parts there and of course that hole over there. And to do that, I'm using auto body filler. Uh, <clears throat> it's waterproof and it uh, holds up to just about anything, although you don't get a lot of weight on a threshold anyhow. So anyhow, um, I'm gonna fill that in with a body filler and then uh, sand it down, paint it, and I'll get back to you on it. Okay, it took me about four or five minutes to put it down. Give this time to dry and I'll sand it down and uh, get back and do a little painting on it. It's all done. Actual work time was about a half an hour uh, cost materials, the wood hardener was, I believe, $10, and I already had the the Bondo for the body filler, so, but if you have to buy that, it's about 6 bucks a quart. But anyhow, uh, this is a quick way of doing it. It doesn't require tools, and it doesn't require ripping everything out. You can also use this uh, same process if you have rotten window sills rotten door frames, rotten windows, anything. Uh, you, you put the wood hardener on, then you fill the area with uh, auto body filler. And in this case, I used the auto body filler that had the, uh, the fiberglass strands in it. It's a little more heavy duty than the regular auto body filler, but any auto body filler will work. And um, of course, the you know the, the more time you spend on the auto body filler, the smoother your, your uh, final project is going to be. But 
anyhow that's it and uh good luck if you're doing it yourself